Massimo Hauha, the White Death, the world's deadliest sniper. Simo Hauha is considered to be the greatest sniper of all time, reported to have taken 505 kills. All of his sniper kills would be achieved during the Winter War of 1939 to 1940. Simo was born in a village in Finland near the Russian border. In his village, he would farm and take up hobbies in hunting, shooting, and snow skiing. At age 17, he joined the Civil Guard and established himself as an excellent marksman in target shooting competitions and demonstrated excellent skiing abilities. During this time, he was familiarized with the Finnish Mosin Nagant 2830 and the Suomi submachine gun. Constant practice enables Simo to hit the target 16 times per minute at around 500 feet or 150 meters away. This was incredible considering the Mosin Nagant is a bolt action rifle and holds five round stripper clips. In 1939, the Soviet Union invaded Finland, which would become known as the Winter War or the Russo Finnish War. The Finns were outnumbered but knew the land well and used guerrilla style tactics to take on the Red Army. Simo saw his baptism of fire on the Kola battlefield, where at one point there were 4,000 Soviets against only himself and 31 other Finns. On December 21, 1939, Simo achieved his highest daily count of 25 kills. Simo would go out dressed in winter snow camouflage and take a day's worth of supplies, crawl to his position, and sit in the snow for hours in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius or minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. He would also camouflage his position by packing snow in front of him to prevent the muzzle blast wafting up snow and put snow in his mouth to control the vapor of his breath from giving away his position. The rifle he used throughout the war was the same Finnish Civil Guard variant of the Mosin Nagant rifle that he trained with during his time in the Civil Guard, known as the M2830. This rifle featured front sights known as the Spitz because they resembled the Spitz dog. Simo preferred to use iron sights instead of a scope, which were obtained from a captured Soviet version of the rifle. This is because the scopes could give away his position, reflecting the sun's glare or cloud up in the cold environment. He would zero his sights at the common combat distance of 150 meters. One combat engagement came after Simo was assigned to take out a Soviet sniper who had killed three platoon leaders. He found a position and waited for several hours. As the sun was setting, he noticed its rays reflecting off the sniper's scope in the distance. The enemy sniper started to stand up to go back, and Simo pulled the trigger, taking him out in one shot. The Soviets took the threat of Simo seriously and deployed counter snipers and artillery strikes to try to take him out. He even gained a nickname, the White Death. Simo was wounded in the last week of the war when a Soviet infantryman shot him with an explosive bullet. The bullet hit Simo's face, but he was evacuated in time before the Finns were overrun. He was decorated with numerous awards and promoted from corporal straight to second lieutenant. Later in the Winter War on February 17, 1940, Simo was also awarded with a specially made honorary rifle Model 28 from Swedish businessman Eugen Johansson. By the end of the Winter War, Simo was credited with 505 confirmed sniper kills of Soviet soldiers, which he achieved within 100 days and in the time of year where daylight hours are low. This makes him the record holder for the highest number of confirmed sniper kills. He had also reported 200 kills with his Suomi KP-31 machine gun. When the bullet hit Simo, it had tore into his left jawbone and knocked out some of his teeth, which he needed several surgeries to fix. However, he would eventually make a recovery and live a long life. 